Hey FCV dwellers, I figured I'd make a quick video of how I obtained a Fallout New Vegas sign. Uh, very happy to own it, but there, there was a lot of hurdles that went, I guess, went into it. Not, not really hurdles, but uh, I just figured I'd tell my story anyway. Um, I was at work, I went on break, and as all of us do, I'm sure, constantly checking eBay for the latest Fallout stuff that somebody lists. I got lucky and I found it. It was $599, which is probably one of the cheapest. I think Robert might have got one for $500. Um, but everything was working on it. I looked at all the pictures and everything. Everything was fine. Ended up buying it right there. I think it was on eBay for a grand total of a minute, maybe two minutes. Um, the seller shipped it within a day. And it arrived about four days later. Uh... I made an unboxing video, which is on one of my other phones, uh, so I'm probably going to try and splice some of that into here. I'm not sure. I might not. I might just put this up as is, but um, made an unboxing video to kind of show it, off, show it off on the page a little bit, you know, and uh, it arrived broken. So this tube right here, I'll try and zoom into it a little bit, is busted. And I was pretty upset about it. I um, ended up messaging the seller and talking with him about it, and he was real quick. Just go ahead and send it back. I'll take the loss. Go ahead and send it back. You know, no, I just want to go ahead and get it fixed. No, 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 no. Just send it back. Send it back. I'll, I'm totally happy with taking the loss. I'll even give you fifty dollars to send it back to me. I'm, well, that's it's a little fishy. You know, I started kind of getting a hunch that he found out he might have been able to sell it for more, or he might have mislisted it and didn't want to sell it for six hundred dollars, but felt com compelled to go ahead and ship it anyway and this was his reason to get it back you know so talking with him back and forth a lot of messages he really 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 didn't want to help me get this fixed he wanted it back he was totally cool to give me a full refund he just wanted it back all the way up until like a couple days ago after talking with fedex you know he's like no no send it back uh i'll get it i'll get it fixed and uh get a refund from fedex and go ahead and ship it back to you for hundred dollars. Well, uh, the reason he said that is because FedEx wouldn't cover it. They won't cover damage to neon signs, which I wasn't aware of. He got the insurance for it for a full six hundred dollars, so I thought this, this is in the bag. This is gonna be fine. This is gonna be easy. He clearly in my video, uh, if I splice any in here, he had it well packed. Every, like there's a ton of newspaper, a ton of foam pieces, a ton of plastic. It just looked like packing from everything he's gotten over the past year he just dumped in here which might have been part of the issue because it might have been overly packed and ended up putting pressure on that tube right there and cracking it but uh you know i figured my video would show that it was well packed and it might have just been mishandled well under uh fedex's uh liabilities not assumed if you look at k right there it says damage in transit or in handling of fluorescent tubes, neon lighting, neon signs, x-ray tubes, laser tubes, or light bulbs, or other inherently fragile items they don't cover. So you can get insurance on this. They'll, they'll gladly take your money, but they will not reimburse you if there's any damages. And <laughs> I didn't realize this because I'd never even seen this page. There is a lot under here for things that they won't cover when you have something insured there's a lot it's pretty much if it's breakable we don't have to cover it and that's it's kind of asinine if you ask me you know why are you gonna why are you gonna have insurance if you're just gonna list all look at that look at all this this is this is everything they don't cover which i read through quite a bit of it and it's it's a, just an absurd amount that they just won't won't cover your sol if anything gets broken and you shipped it via fedex and somebody decided to play soccer with it um, I mean, maybe if you can absolutely prove that it was mishandled and there was, you know, damages on the exterior of the box, like a lot of damages on the exterior of the box, maybe they'll cover it. But, you know, mine had a little dent on the side, which, like I said, he might have overpacked this and it might have put enough pressure on this piece right here and cracked it. But, yeah, so, anyway, he wants it back. I don't want to send it back. Well, my BFF... <laughs> Robert Marr told me that you can bypass these neon sign, these uh, neon tubes right here. 
So he sent me a quick video of how he did it because he got one from, I think somebody selling it on the page that has this whole section down here is completely missing. Like it cracked here and cracked here and this little corner is gone. Um, so he sent me a quick video of how he did it. So I just got done doing that a little bit ago and it worked. I'm pretty pleased with it. So I'll show my really crappy wiring job back here. Um, this white wire right here is what I put in. So there's a cap that goes here and here, which uh, I have actually right here. So I don't know if you can see it real well because I got the light out. But this cap goes over and it, it holds the wire and the neon tube. And uh, so essentially the neon tubing conducts the electricity and makes a complete circuit right here. Well, when this is broken, the gas escapes and it can't conduct anything through there anymore. You know, I, I don't know anything about neon tubes. This is all stuff that mostly I learned from Robert because he looked it all up or he's just super duper smart. But, um, and he told me how to fix it. So essentially you're just bypassing that neon right there and just completing the circuit from here till, to jump to the next tubing. And I was nervous doing it because, you know, this is a pretty rare collectible, but uh, it worked and everything looks great. And, you know, kind of after looking everything over, I'm not super upset with this being broken given it's a fallout item. You know, everything in fallout is broken or weathered. And one thing too is I thought, because I'd never seen one of these in person, I thought my neons were going out. Let me kind of zoom into this a little bit. I thought my neons were going out. I thought they were like messed up spots all over. There's one there. You know, it's kind of going through here. I don't think that little white dot's supposed to be there, but who's counting anyway, right? Uh, but yeah, there's like all these dark spots around it. Uh, well, after getting a closer look in person, those are those are clearly meant to be there because what I think they do is I think they just take some clear neon and just kind of coat it with like a red color, and I think these darker spots are just coated on there too to give it you know that extra weathered feel, you know, because all the bolts and screws and everything in here are rusted out, which is very Fallout, very very good attention to detail in here. Uh, so, you know, kind of looking over everything, I'm totally okay with it being the way it is. I'm a little upset with FedEx for not wanting to help cover anything. And the closest neon repair shop that's near me uh, is about an hour drive, and they're backed up till after Christmas, so I can't have them repair it. Uh, well, I can, but it's going to be an hour drive there, hour drive back, then in like a month or two when it's finally done hour drive there, hour drive back, and it's only 95 bucks, so I'm probably going to bite the bullet and do it, but I wanted to give Robert's uh, fix a shot, and, and it works. Like, I'm very I'm very happy with it, so I figured I'd share this little story with you guys. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Take care. Happy collecting, everyone.